Hey, remember two months ago when all the fancy people jetted to the big United Nations global warming meeting in Paris? Tens of thousands of people. Canada had one of the biggest delegations in the world, actually. 383 very important people attended. That was more than Australia, more than the United Kingdom, more than the United States combined. Remember going through that list to look at all these important people? Almost none of them were scientists or economists. Almost all of them were in the political spin business, including dozens of press secretaries, communications directors, and even four full-time photographers. That's what this was about, preening for the cameras. Even if you believe in the theory of man-made global warming, very few of the 383 Canadians on the trip had any business being there. The lone Green Party MLA from New Brunswick, really? Nine very important politicians and bureaucrats from Nunavut? Why? It was a country-to-country -country treaty negotiation at the United Nations. Why did we have mayors there and mayor's assistants? and assistance to those assistants. Well, duh, free trip to Paris. It was super gross and all paid for by you and me. So how much did it cost? Well, we at the Rebels submitted an access to information request with the various government departments that went. And we've received the first reply back from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. That's Stefan Dion's department. And the numbers are shocking. So, just to be clear, this is only for Stefan Dion's people. According to the UN list published right before the conference, Dion had 10 departmental staff, and then there were seven people from our embassy in Paris. That's a hell of an entourage, like some Saudi chic or something. But that's just a sliver of a fraction of Canada's total. But still, get a load of this. Stefan Dion's department spent $49,719 on travel. How do you do that? Again, according to the UN, Dion had 17 people going, but seven were already stationed in Paris. So just 10 came in from Canada. That's 4,972 bucks per person, including a little cash gift to each of them called a per diem. But I just went to Expedia and I typed in a flight from Ottawa to Paris in November. And you can get a round trip with taxes for about 700 bucks. <laughs> but you see, that's for the little people. These were very big, very important people. So 49 grand on flights. But look at this, $121,104 on accommodations. I mean, do you think these people were just going to stay at the Best Western or something or at Airbnb? 121 grand. And remember, this was a conference on global warming to tell you and me to stop living so large. Again, our seven Paris diplomats already have a home in Paris, so divide this hotel bill by 10 Canadians in the delegation, and that's a cool 12,110 bucks each. Oh, and that's on top of the per diem they all got paid also. 12,000 bucks I had for hotel rooms. Hey guys, just rent the hotel room. Don't buy it, okay? That was just a sleep in though. See, they also rented meeting rooms, $40,127 worth. Uh, didn't the UN provide plenty of meeting rooms? Wasn't the whole thing a conference meeting in rooms? How do you spend 40 grand on rooms to meet in? And why wouldn't you just meet at our huge, luxurious embassy if you needed more meeting rooms? Oh, oh, let me guess, because Justin Trudeau says budgets balance themselves, am I right? Oh my God. But here's my favorite. These are the folks, folks who hate cars, hate fossil fuels, hate driving. And Paris is a very walkable city. It's just gorgeous, it's amazing. But no, you don't understand. These people are too important to walk, too many important meetings to go to in important meeting rooms. So they spent, get this, $65,903 on rental cars. What, for 17 people? Again, seven of whom already lived there. So how do you, how do, you do that for the 10 who came from Canada? That's 6,590 bucks each. What, were they renting Ferraris? Well, you couldn't catch a cab or an Uber, maybe even share a ride, maybe walk in one of the most beautiful cities in the world? Add it up, and these little piggies 
blew through $282,767 in one conference. And that was just Stefan Dion and his crew. For the 17 of them, that's 16633 bucks per person, including the seven who already live in Paris. It takes the average Canadian how many months to earn that kind of money after tax? But again, these weren't the little people in Paris. These were very important people, burning very important jet fuel and renting very important gas guzzlers. I haven't yet included the environment minister or the prime minister or the premiers who went or the mayors. We haven't got their expense reports yet. This is just the first access to information request of a dozen. And we're already at more than a quarter million dollars, half of which was on cars and jets. You want to know how I know that global warming is just a scam? Because the people who keep telling us that we're all going to die if we don't change the way we live and that we got to use less fuel and live smaller, yeah, those people, when they think we're not looking, they're pigging out racking up air miles and roaring around Paris in high style. Yeah, forgive me if I pay a little less attention to what they say and a little more attention to what they do. And Stefan Dion's little team blew through a quarter of a mil just so he could have a few selfies.